Hello beautiful people and welcome back again to On Heart channel. If you don't know, my name is Anas and I'm working for you and now you know. So if you have any questions or any requests, make sure to drop them below in a comment or check out my Instagram right here below me. I don't reply to each comment. If you are wondering again why is that, because simply I'm working for you. And in this video, I will show you how to show the discount percentage on the product page on Shopify. And yes, you heard that right. In this video, I will show you how to show the percentage instead of the batch that said sale you can show actually the exact percentage for the discount that you did set to that particular product and it will be shown at both the collection page or the future product page or the product page as well and we will do that again without using any apps or anything like that by adding your own custom code that will do the trick for you and this code will work for every Shopify team and if you are wondering why we shouldn't use the app for that well we already know that using too many apps on your Shopify store can affect the loading time and effective loading time of your Shopify store equals affecting the conversion rate and that's really important it's actually one of the most important aspects when it comes to success in Shopify or e-commerce in general so you should use the minimum apps you can use uh, on your Shopify store to make the loading time much much faster than your competition obviously and in this video as I said I will show you how to add the percentage discount on the product page on the badge actually that badge that said sale I mean while I'm talking let me show you let me show you what I'm talking about and by the way this Shopify store is the Shopify store of the team that I do all the demonstration on including that the one that you're gonna see right now and the video banner right here as well as transparent header as well as the hover color and removing the underlines from the menu once you hover over them as well as the hover effect and a lot more actually all the things I did show them in tutorials actually more than 80 or 100 video I can't even remember and more the things that you cannot find anywhere else you will find it on my channel even removing the cart icon or changing this cart icon right here to any icon you want I did show a video on how to do that even removing again the search icon as well a lot more stuff that you cannot find anywhere else and the best thing about this just like I said all the things I did use them without using any apps even the video banner right here without using any apps it's all by using your own custom code and that will make uh, the Shopify store load much much faster than using apps for anything you want so if you are interested in how to customize your Shopify store and make it branded without having to hire a developer with the costs a lot of money to do so check out my channel and you will be able to do everything yourself and you will save a lot of money that you can invest elsewhere and all the code I do share yes it's completely free actually all the code I do share I do post the link for it in the description box you can just click on it and it will take you directly to the code and copy it and do the trick I'm trying to do and if you are wondering why I'm doing all that you might think I'm Robin Hood right no I'm not I'm just a regular guy and the only thing I'm asking for is just a like please just like the Venice says in here so if this video helped you out or actually just wait until you see if it did help you out Help me up pressing that like button. It will take you like a millisecond to click on it and it will make my day and motivate me actually to make more videos for you guys. So I would really appreciate it. And let's just quit talking. I talk too much about the things I do. So I apologize. What I'm talking about in this video is this one right here, as you can see. And by the way, I did change it like a couple of weeks ago. So I did make a video on how to change that cell. You see the badge right here it says hit that like button again. Yeah, it was her sale obviously and I think you already know that so I did made a video on how to actually edit the sale word to any word you want because there is a lot of things that you can use instead of sale discounted price limited time offer so instead of showing a, a sale right here you can actually add any text you want for example as I said limited time offer and so on so as you can see I did change it in demonstration hit that like button here is it still here <laughs> as you can see so what I'm going to do in this video is this hit that like button will actually transform into a percentage and not just any random percentage it's actually a percentage based on the pricing in here for example you see the product here the original price is uh, uh, $45 as you can see and discounted price is $43 so how much is that like uh, $2 or $3 the discount so in here it will show a percentage based on that discount so this one should be really low like less than 5% this one is actually more than 50% or no less it's actually 37 
or 36 dollars so this one the original price is 100 and the discounted price is 64 so in this hit that like button badge right here it will show a percentage which is like 40 percent something no it's actually 36 yeah in here it will be 36 percent so that will all the discounted in here they will be based on the actual uh, discounted price not just any random uh, percentage and it will be set automatically you don't have to set each product with each a discounted percentage it will calculate them automatically and display them in here as you can see not just on the collection page in here uh, if you even if you uh, add access the products page it will be in here as well and without any more checking let's just jump to it so obviously i'm going to stay on this page right here uh, and we will do the trick and come back in here reload the page and should be here so let's just get to it so obviously what we need to do is uh, access the, the Shopify dashboard right the next thing you're going to do is click on online store from the left menu then the next thing you're going to do is click on the three dots on left of customize right here and click on edit code option right here and it will take you to the code editor for your Shopify team and in here on the left we need to find a liquid file instead of checking out the folders and so on we will use instead the search bar at the top of the page simply click on it then type in product dash card just like you see on the screen right now let me zoom in on it here we go so product dash card and you will see this file right here it says product dash card dot liquid not this one but actually just product dash card dot liquid so make sure you do access this one so let me click on it and after that it will show you a lot of liquid code in here and no worries you won't have to edit any code or anything like that i will provide you with a very short code you just have to replace an old one with a new one and it will work just fine and just like i said at the beginning of the video I'm working for you. Even if you have some issues with this, just drop me a comment. I will be happy to help you on. And after that, what we need to do is scroll down to the line 133. So make sure to scroll down. It's not a big file. It's very short, as you can see. And this is the line uh, 133, as you can see. And on the line 133, there is this section right here uh, with two uh, quotes in here. I mean, uh, closing brackets, what it's called. Uh, I apologize. I'm not a native English speaker. Uh, English is my third language, actually. So I keep struggling with words. I apologize. So this section there you can see right now. So make sure you do select this one right here. Actually, I will put right now the code in it on the screen right now. So you can see which one you should select. So this one that you see right now and the one that I'm selecting right now, this one we need to replace it with another code. And if you are wondering where you're gonna find that code that you're gonna replace it with, well, of course, in the description box. As always, scroll down description box and you will see a link named it as code and you don't have to pay for it or anything like that. Simply click on it and it will take you to this page right here where you're gonna see a very short code as you can see, uh, four lines to be exact, this code right here. So this will do the magic of showing the percentage, discounted percentage on the product page for each product. So obviously what you need to do is simply select the code and make sure to select the whole code in here so after that right click and copy after you did copy the code get back to the code editor in here and just like i said one more what we need to do is uh, replace this one but before we do that make sure to copy this one and save it somewhere else just took a backup or take a backup of the whole code in here let me do that actually for demonstration so you don't have to simply i'm gonna copy the co this code first then i'm gonna open up the same a website that I do pass in the calls in and I'm gonna save it in here so this is just in case didn't work or did mess up my Shopify store but as I said I did test it on refresh team down team and instance team and it works for them just fine because I know videos on YouTube tend to live forever so in case in the future something happened just took a backup first so you can be safe after that just like I said in the beginning right click copy let me select the code in here and copy after we did copy the code get back in here after you did take a backup of the old one simply replace this old one with the new one that we did copy and ta -da, as you can see it's really simple after that click on the save button right here and after the changes we'll save it we will get back to the product page or the shopify store sorry reload the page and see if that will work actually so in here instead of hit the like button as you can see it should be the percentage based on discounted price in here Let's just reload the page and see if that will work. And I know it does. So let's just reload the page. And let's just scroll down. And here we go. Check out what it says now. As you can see, this one is obviously very uh, low discount, which is $3 from the price. So that's 4% off. This one, which is pretty big discount, is 36% off. 
and this one as well is big as one it was 85 and right now is 55 so 35 uh, percent and as i said this will be calculated automatically you don't have to set each discount for each product just like i saw right now and that's how you display the percentage discount on your shopify store without using any apps or anything like that and as i said if you have any questions or any video requests make sure to drop them below in a comment or check out my instagram right here below me i don't reply to each comment if you are wondering again why is that because simply i'm working for you otherwise i think my job is done for this video so thanks for watching catch you on the next one